About 60 years ago, a famous artist named Descamps lived in Paris. He was friends with many top authors, artists, and scientists of the time. Descamps loved animals and kept a small menagerie in his studio. He had a bear named Tom, a monkey named Jacko Y, a frog named Mademoiselle Camargo, and a tortoise named Gazelle. On the night of Shrove Tuesday in 1832, Tom had been in Paris for six months. He was a charming bear. Tom opened the door when the bell rang, stood guard with a halberd, and danced a minuet with a broomstick. After a busy day, Tom retired to his hutch. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Jacko showed signs of joy, and Descamps guessed the visitor was Fan, the tutor to the animals. He was right. Fan, dressed as a clown, appeared at the door. Jacko joyfully jumped into Fan's arms. Fan praised Jacko, then asked for Tom. Tom growled from his hutch, not in a hurry to come out. Fan threatened to use a broomstick, and Tom emerged, acting innocent. Fan led Tom outside, where a cab was waiting. They headed to the Odeon Theatre for the Carnival Masked Ball. Tom entered the cab like he had done it all his life. At the theatre, Tom's realistic bear movements drew attention. People were impressed by his act. At the buffet, Tom ate cakes with such gusto that the crowd laughed and applauded. When it was time to leave the buffet, Fan placed Tom against the wall and instructed him to stay put. A harlequin, thinking Tom was the actor Audrey in disguise, gave Tom his hat. Tom played along, holding his wooden gun. Harlequin introduced Tom as Audrey, and people were amazed by Tom's bare imitation. Fan promised a minuet dance, and the crowd grew excited. Tom danced the minuet with two ladies delighting the audience. After the dance, Tom was crowned with a wreath of roses. However, as the night went on, people lost interest in Tom's growls and he was left alone. Eventually, Tom fell asleep in a stage box. In the early morning, the box opener found Tom sleeping. She tried to wake him, thinking he was Audrey. A sergeant and his men came to help. When they realized Tom was a real bear, they decided to take him home. They found a card around Tom's neck with his address and money for a cab. Two soldiers escorted Tom home on foot to save cab money. At Decon's house, the portress recognized Tom. The same day, the actor Audrey received a bill for the cakes Tom ate, amounting to seven francs and a half. 